Welcome to Car Scene Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis Hyundai and Kia cars. And I'm here today at. Don't know what this place is, honestly. But I'm here today for this Casper studio. Look at this thing. It's got the police on and it's uh, the European style or perhaps American. Well, I don't know. It's not the uh, ones that I have seen. The ones that I know of are like. You know, those NYPDs, SFPD and all. I'll be capturing this about the design here and there intensively today. And just bear with me, it's raining. Just wipe that off. It's raining here today, but, well, you know, I gotta, I, I gotta shoot a video. <laughs> Don't matter. And look at this. Hyundai provided this tablet so you can have like the AR version of this car right here. So this what's showing here is actually an ar look at that just wow wow so you can change the colors seeing the actual one but at the same time you can change around the colors in all different versions this is pretty cool wow and you can also change the wheels too i mean yeah you can tell that it's a graphic but this is like a top notch it like it literally looks like a real car and you see what changes on the front grille if you go with the regular one the na model or if you choose 1.0 the turbo model this is absolutely stunning this is what's different here on the front this is a non-turbo model and a naturally aspirated and how do you tell it's simple it's if you see another circle right here which is an intake for the radiator fully covered up you only see the headlight right there so this means it's an a naturally aspirated model and uh well all of them are NA models, I guess. Another NA, but this right here, this is the model that I just told you about. This is the turbo model. Two more circles in the middle, which sucks in the air and slash also cools down the car, sucking in the air right into the radiator. Um, I don't know, like uh, design-wise, if I prefer ones with more circles in the middle or maybe no circle like this one. So uh, tell me which one you guys uh, prefer. This is a, a non-turbo model and that right here is turbo. Hover it over the actual car like the, the we just saw it on the outline. Once you do that, yeah, just like we've seen, you can change all the colors. Let me just quickly go through the names of the colors. It's Atlas White, Titan Gray Metallic, Intense Blue. I, this is my favorite. So Intense Blue Pearl to be exact. And this is the signature color, signatory color of uh, Casper. Tomboy Cocky. Soultronic Orange Pearl. Love the names that they come up with. Now looking at all the colors, they are missing one color that pretty much all of the cars have. Black. Now I think I know a good reason why they don't have uh, black colors for Casper because this car being a tiny SUV, micro SUV, you know, as we all know, black colors make the car look smaller, even smaller than it actually is. So probably that's why they missed out the black color. And instead, and they gave us the gray color. So let me tell you just one thing about this Casper. For, for the first time ever, Hyundai is selling this Casper 100% online, just like how Tesla is doing with all of their cars. So the reservations are done online. Nothing is sold offline and you can only get it online. However, there is a studio like this. Of course, it's a car. You know, you want to see the car in person, the physical one, you want to touch it. You want to see what it feels like and you know open up the door feel it to yourself i guess that's like the latest market trend here and there and due to what we're going through now people are trying especially the manufacturers and also we can see from today's event they're trying to minimize where people are coming together and gathering you know just in case so just look at what they have done with this place i love the layout and the, what they've done with the studio i think it's really sitting well with the car it's saying over here and there the theme about this casper just look at this being playful they got the basketball court right here i don't know for the record uh, this roof rack could actually withhold up to 76 kilograms having that will of course give you a extra storage for that but also i think it really adds on to the design very very well together too 
Hyundai already did a great job with dressing up the car with decals. I think it really, really looks great on this car. There are just some cars that letterings, words, just don't fit on a design-wise, but I really think it fits really well with Casper. Tell me and let me know what you guys think about it. Driver's seat of Casper and look at this. In terms of the display, tell me what you guys think about that. A full-size LED display on this micro SUV or entry-level SUV, you might think, but you know, not quite. So what it is, is actually this portion right in the middle, the center, is what is display. And the things left and right, they're not actually displays. This portion that works as a display, but the remainder of the stuff are not necessarily just displays, but it brightens up. So Hyundai has gone really, really creative with that. So the color changes accordingly to the drive modes. There's only normal and sport. And also you can have the traction on, which where you can go into snow, mud, and sand. Well, that's the gas tank. That's the temperature for the engine. So they have matched the design left and right, symmetrical. I love what they've done with this. So this Casper being the entry-level SUV, the smallest SUV from Hyundai, and also that being said, they have to be competitive price-wise. So Hyundai has gone really creative and also they have used alternative uh, materials that they can lower the cost of the production. I'll show you here and there with where they have done it yet maintaining you know the quality as well i don't really feel that kind of uh, you know just super cheaped out car kind of a feeling being in this um driver's seat and the cockpit so come over this way they have not chipped out on this one either same thing goes for the wipers as well the start button the good old things and the steering wheel as well all the buttons are here here same layout as other hyundai Kia cars but, but what one thing that really surprises me the most is that it has the HDA right here. It has the adaptive cruise control embedded on this tiny, tiny entry-level SUV. Come over this way. This looks like fabric and also it feels like fabric. Wow. However, this is not a fabric. This is made out of uh, the reusable plastic that Hyundai is uh, doing with most of the recent cars, pretty much all of them. And this, those with keen eyes, you guys would probably be able to tell right away, but this is the door handle straight from Hyundai Ioniq 5. This is actually finished in silver, like the exact same part that we have on Ioniq 5 on different trims. Within the inside, right here, the fabric continues as well. And you know what? I actually want to take you to a, a different interior because there are just so many interior options on this Casper. There are just so many variants that you can go and creative. And I absolutely love what they've done with those um, seats and colors. So, because the colors are just absolutely stunning and brilliant. So let's go check out the interior on this fiery orange, no. <laughs> and look at this, this is the ivory color interior. And let's get the doors and just look at the paintwork when it reflects on the lights. This is immaculate. This definitely is pearl. You can see the pearls on the paint. This is the ivory variant. This is what I've been pointing out. It's actually two-toned finished. So right on top, you know, this is like gray, whereas this is the ivory. Look at this interior color. Just look at this. The same fabric that I told you about finished with this orange color. I can feel that this is the plastic material, which is the physical button, whereas this adds on to more of a like a leather kind of a feeling, but they have matched the color brilliant there is ventilated seat for the driver's seat however there is only heated seats for the passenger same goes for this upper portion as well something that we've never seen before on other Hyundai cars just yet and very direct other buttons same layout that we have seen from other Hyundai and Kia cars and also look at the ambient lighting and you cannot forget about the USB ports and the charger ports. Let me show you the glove box, just a typical, you know, drop down glove box that we have seen before. You've got to include this display as an option. This is a must have. Well, something that we see all the time on Hyundai Kia cars, but this will be worth every penny. And you can also control the AC 
on this display as well. I mean, not saying that this is something that we've never seen before, but you see, again, this is the entry level car that's under $20,000. And we get all of this, Hyundai has put in all of these features in because those are really practical and that's something that we use, you know, every day, every day. I honestly don't know why, but I am really excited and stoked to check this car out i think i absolutely love casper i think i'm in love with the casper i just love everything i really want to get this car myself and let me shut the door for the driver's seat and you see i can immediately feel that i'm a little squeezed in right here given the class and this um segment or the category of this car is called um Gyeongcha in korean and that's like the micro cars and i don't know if it's the same case for wherever you are tell me if it is um in korea there is a lot of uh, benefits of uh, owning and driving the car there are a lot of deductions in terms of the tax you know highway tolls and parking all that being eco friendly so that's why a lot of people ch choose this car over many others and also that's why there, there are limitations in terms of the size so casper is within the maximum size that the government laws and rules allow in terms of the width and as well as the length but this casper being an suv they have shaped this car right to the proportions of the suvs that we know of and you cannot miss out on this cladding right here most of the exterior i cover that extensively so please go check that out here it's finished in not a round type that we usually see on other luxuries suv but this is more like a square shaped and where do we see those we see those on off-road cars and that adds on to more of this aggressive and also off-road going you know purpose-built kind of a vehicle feeling to it that indentation right here is also that touch of that scent right there casper saying out loud hey i am also an suv i can go to places and as we have seen from the earlier ones this casper also is equipped with different terrain modes with the mud snow and was it sand dirt such an amazing amazing car i absolutely love it and now this car is finalized this, this of course is the production model as i have mentioned in on the earlier video i thought there would be another like a more of a casper designated i mean more of a character than this but that was actually the casper logo and this right here is the tgdi 1.0 1 liter turbo engine also 1.0 1 liter but naturally aspirated engine which is mpi again you can tell that differentiate that from the exterior no circles no intake whereas there is another circle right there the reason why you know the both turbo and non-turbo the naturally aspirated na engine is also a leader is because that's also within the regulation cars have to be exactly under a leader in order to fit as Gyeongcha micro cars look at this i absolutely love the background and what's being shown on the display right now this is like i mean of course as you guys know i go to places to cover the cars and i've been to studios with the cars but i absolutely this is by far my personal favorite so it's time for me to test drive and check out the casper just so unfortunate that i'm not getting to drive the turbo model but i'll be driving the na naturally aspirated and then we'll see how it does on the uh, roads the performance wise so this is a naturally aspirated model 